What's up? It's Micah. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about what to pack as a camp counselor. For those of you that are new to my channel, you might not know how much I love camp. I went as a camper for six or seven years. This will be my fourth year on staff. I did two years of counseling, not including CIT years. And then this summer I am returning as a director for the second time. So I'm going to be with work crew again. Quick disclaimer before we start. These are all just things that I have figured out work for me over the years. This might not work for you. Also, each camp is a little bit different, so what I might be allowed to bring you might not, vice versa. But I would say a good rule of thumb when packing for camp is if you kind of want to bring it, just bring it. Something I've always loved about summer camp is literally anything goes. This is the time to bring out your crazy t-shirts, your funky hats. So when you're packing, you're going to feel like you're bringing a lot of stuff and you are, you have to remember that you're packing for three months. So you're gonna have to find some way to store all of this. And I have found that the most efficient combo is a pair of drawers like these, a set, a set of drawers like these, and a trunk. So this is mine. I've had this thing since high school. And so that's why it has so many stickers on it. So what I normally do is take a chest of drawers like this and I put my t-shirt shorts and like unmentionables in that. And then this holds my beach towels, my swimsuits, shoes, and just like random things like that. And so I'll put this under my bed and I'll put my drawers like at the end of my bed or as a bedside table. Another must have is a shower caddy. It's a community shower at camp so you don't have like your own personal one. So it's best to just carry your stuff in this so that you can move it in and out of the stall easy. Next up, get a laundry bag. It has gone with me every single summer and it is so efficient. Obviously you put your dirty clothes in it and when you're on staff a lot of times there's people that do your laundry for you and so you bring that to them and they don't have to worry about it ripping because it's a plastic bag. It's not going to get confused with someone else's. A mattress topper is super nice. Camp mattresses are kind of the worst. I don't think you need to have an entire extra set of bedding just because a lot of times, again, at my camp at least, work crew does the laundry for us. And so it's done within the day. If you take the sheets off in the morning, you can have the same pair clean by the end of the day. I think that's really a preference. For me, it was never an issue. I always just changed out my pillowcase. The last storagey thing is a backpack. I have two that I always take. So this is my Kabu. I got this freshman year of high school. It's still in great shape. It needs to be washed, but this is my camp must have. It's a really great size. It's just a little crossbody like this. You can unhook it in the front. It's really convenient. This is nice to just have to carry around camp, but I also know people use backpacks like this. This is a little too big for me. Like I don't really need to carry around this much stuff, but I do bring it and I keep stuff in it that I keep in the staff room. I'll keep my laptop in it, some pens and pencils, and then it'll stay in the director's office or the staff room. Next up, you're gonna wanna bring t-shirts. You can pack for one week if you want, but you have to do laundry more often. But just sometimes camp laundry is kind of tough. Even if you have someone else doing it for you, sometimes you miss your window. If you're doing it yourself on weekends, sometimes other staff is taking too long. So I always just overpack when it comes to clothes because again, whatever I can fit in the drawers that I'm bringing. On top of t-shirts, I would recommend bringing tank tops like this. Most camps allow this style because they're thick. If you're a girl, the rule, at least at my camp, is that you can't have skin showing underneath your bra. You can wear them over your swimsuit. They're just nice for the hotter days. Shorts just athletic shorts, ones that you don't mind getting dirty. Also, something I forgot to mention, you should definitely get some nice pairs of shorts or skirts to wear with your staff shirts on days that parents are in town. Make sure they're a nice length, your butt's not hanging out, that kind of thing. My ladies, I would recommend getting a pair of swim shorts. Some camps don't have strict rules about if you have to wear shorts with your swimsuit or not, but I have just found for personal comfort that it is nice to have a pair of shorts when you're swimming with the campers just because just because. You can obviously get them off Amazon or from Walmart. My personal favorite pair is from Gymshark and they're just unlined and they make great swim shorts. I wore those like every day this summer. Most camps will have you wear one pieces. I got this one from Walmart and it's held up really well. So definitely check Walmart for some good ones. I got this one from Amazon. Being a director, I always had at least three or four swimsuits on me in the summer just cause you're at the pool or the lake every day. And then same with counselors. I think it's just nice to have one to change into when your other one is drying. Next up, you're gonna want a hat or two or three. And like I said, at camp anything goes. And so if you have crazy hats, 
bring them. Bring like any fun costumes or t-shirts that you have. So like if you have a banana suit, a morph suit, literally anything you have, this is the time to bring it out. Something that goes without saying, but I just thought of it. When you are a camp counselor, it's really important that logos on your shirts and your hats and things are appropriate. So most camps will encourage you to stay away from like alcohol brand stuff, things with bad words. So just something to think about. Next, I would recommend bringing at least three nice outfits slash outfits that you can wear on your off days. So I always bring at least one or two pairs of jeans. Some camps require you to have those for horseback riding, mine doesn't. So I always brought a pair for church on Sundays. If we ever went out on a weekend, I would just have like two or three shirts that I would wear. And then most camps have a nice dinner night where everybody dresses up. And so I had so many dresses that I would bring for that. Again, with like dress code and stuff, a lot of camps will have rules about tank top straps or backless things. So just be conscious of that when you're packing. I would recommend getting a rain jacket it. I found this one at Goodwill and it has been like my camp go-to. A lot of times like late May it rains a lot and so I would wear this like every day. Come back. Okay. okay. I got it with mail. <laughs> Another thing to bring is a hoodie just like a light sweater or something because sometimes there will be a random cold front in the middle of the summer or like around the time that it's really rainy you might want to have it. I wouldn't go crazy. I wouldn't bring even two, like just one should be fine. I always bring a pair of tennis shoes that I don't mind getting muddy or dirty. A lot of times these are my workout shoes as well, or my running shoes. And then I bring like two nice pairs of tennis shoes. It's just nice to have different shoes on the weekends because a lot of times you wear your chacos for the whole five days. And it's just nice to wear something else. Also, if you have cowboy boots, bring them. If I had to narrow this list down to the things that I thought were most important to bring, Chacos would be on there. So I have two pairs, but in my defense, I got these in high school and then I just found how nice it was to have a dry pair. And so I ordered these my first year on staff with my first paycheck, it was kind of cute. Any sport sandal will do. I personally am biased to Chacos, but I know a lot of people like Tevas. You can even find cool off-brand ones at Walmart. Get a pair of shower shoes. 100%. Next thing, get a watch. Some camps have really specific rules about like knowing the time or having your phone out. And so a watch is just nice to have. Next, bring aloe vera and sunscreen. These are really important things to have. Protect your skin. You will be outside every day for hours at a time. And I know it's really easy to get into that mindset of, oh my gosh, I wanna get tan, no sunscreen. But I'm telling you, if you get sunburned as a counselor, it just sucks. Like there's no hope for you. Get a pair of sunglasses. I bought these specifically for camp. They're not really my style, but there's like a thing among lifeguards that you just get a funny pair to wear while you're on the stand. So got these. Get a coffee mug. It doesn't have to be a nice one. Obviously it's camp and so there's a risk with anything that you bring that it's gonna get damaged or stolen or lost. Brittany got me this coffee mug from Goodwill because I love jelly beans. And so this became my camp mug. So basically we just have a shelf in the dish room and all the counselors put their mugs on it And then in the morning when coffee is ready, they can go get their own There's no guarantee that your mug won't get used which is again why you find one at Goodwill Also Goodwill just has funny ones It's nice to have games to play with your cabin or the other counselors when you have some free time Tattoos are so fun to have to do with your cabin or your fellow counselors Here we go You can get tattoos from literally anywhere. Stickers are good too to have, especially if you have little kids. Oh, oh. It says read. Beautiful. If you have a musical instrument, like a guitar or a ukulele or a kazoo, bring it. It could be nice to sit around the campfire and play with your cabin. Found it. Yeah. Let's play another one, play another one. Yeah. Stop it. Play another one, Sue. yo. What I said, Sue. Bring decorations. Decorating my cabin is so much fun. We have a door hanger thingy, my jig. Garlands. I will be taking those with me this summer. The fairy lights included. More garlands. Battery operated lights. This is a strobe light. I even had a rug that I put down in my cabins. It was from Five Below. It just, it makes the experience so much more fun for the campers and for you. If you're staying in an environment that is happy and fun, you can do Christmas lights. There's just so many fun things that you can do to make a cabin more exciting than just bunk beds. Great places to find decorations like this are the party section at Target. That's where I got those little tassel things. You can look at the dollar store, you can make them. Bring a journal. 
um, especially if you're at a Christian camp, you're gonna want something to write down your Devo ideas or like whatever lessons you're doing. Pens, pencils, stationery. Make sure that you bring two beach towels and then also I'd say two bath towels, washcloth. I've just found that pairs of things are just nicer to have. So like if one towel is drying, you can use your other one. Also, I thought of this, I've never done it before, but I might try it this summer. If you have a drying rack, that looks like this, that you dry your laundry on, I would bring it and keep it in the, the staff cabin because then you and your co-counselors can use that to hang out swimsuits, hang your towels, because a lot of times things just get hung up on a towel rack and then the towels get put over it so then they don't end up drying. People hang them on their bunk beds, people like lay them out on tables outside. So I just feel like it'd be really good to have an actual drying rack. I would recommend bringing your own snacks. Different camps have different rules about where you can keep them and where you can have them, but just having your own little personal stack is really nice because sometimes lunch doesn't fill you up quite till dinner. The one thing is though, if you're gonna bring trail mix or something, just be really weary about who you eat it around because peanut allergies are a real thing. That many kids all in one place, chances are someone's gonna be allergic to something that you're eating, so just be careful. Bring a water bottle. I am emphasizing, you need something to carry with you at all times to make sure you're staying hydrated because you're outside all day, the sun is hot, you're walking, you're sweating. It's important to stay hydrated. If you have a frisbee, bring it. If you have a soccer ball, bring it. Be available to your campers to hang out. If you have a hammock, bring that too. It's fun to hang these outside of your cabin and let your campers swing in them. Bring a speaker if you have one. If you don't have one, chances are someone else will, but speakers are really nice to have so that you can play music in your cabin or if you guys are on a walk or something. So every camp schedule is different. So if you can find time to work out in your busy, busy schedule, it is nice to have a pair of dumbbells with you. So I always bring just like the 10 pounds that I have. Some camps have nice gyms and places that you can actually exercise, but sometimes you just can't get to it. And so it's nice to just have something to use, maybe do like a couple reps before bed or in the morning. And so if you have a pair of weights, I, I'd say bring it. You can even leave them in your car. And the last thing I would recommend bringing is a camera. Obviously you're not working at camp for the glamour or the cool social media posts, but it is really nice to just be able to have those memories on camera. So if you have a Polaroid, bring it. If you have a cool film camera, bring it, be careful with it. Some camps have really strict rules about who you can take pictures of, like in regard to the campers. So just be careful of that. I think that's everything. You should see what my floor looks like right now. Also just some practical things. If you're watching this as like a last minute checklist, don't forget your toothbrush, your deodorant, your charm, chargers to your phone, your laptop, your watch. Bring your makeup bag, lotion, facial moisturizer, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Oh, and a pair of scissors. I should have said that with the tape earlier. Did I say the tape? Oh, bring tape too, so that you can hang up your decorations. There's a lot of hair in it. Okay, so that is everything. If I left anything out, definitely comment it down below. Also, leave me a comment if you are working at a camp this summer. I am just a huge advocate for it, obviously. It's something that I am so grateful that I got to do, and I also hope to be able to send my kids one day. If this is your first summer working at a camp and you never got to go as a camper or anything like that, I just wanna say props to you for trying something new. I hope you love it. I hope your experience is nothing short of amazing. Just remember the heart in all of it, because uh, there will be some nice nights that you are really tired, but I just want to encourage you to push through it and remember why you're there and it's for the kids. All of it is to serve the littles and be a counselor that they speak fondly of after the summer is over. Be a counselor that when they reflect on their years as a camper, they remember as someone that really made an impact on their life. You got this. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I would be happy to answer them. If you haven't seen my camp vlogs and are interested to see what a day in life is like, you can go to the description of this video and I've left them all there in little playlists for you. I hope your spring semester is going well. I look forward to hearing how camp went for you when you get back. So, bye guys. Oh, also notice I put all my bracelets and all my camp jewelry on just for this video. And I have to go take it off because it's like 20 degrees outside. Don't get down on the dumps. I gotta push yeah. up, dude.